what's up you guys welcome back to marcella's way so today we are going to be doing something a little different i'm here actually in word which i know is kind of weird because i always design a silhouette i have my sublimation printer doing a um, head cleaner right now so i can make sure there's no issues with that but so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking this design that I designed in Word because my laptop acts silly sometimes and I don't have time for it today. So I designed this in Word. I got a PNG uh, pattern from the internet and I just spaced them like this on Word. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sublimate this on some polyester fabric that I found at the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna take you guys along with the process on how I take this design and turn it into this. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to um, get started on this and I'm gonna take you for a ride. So you guys hold tight, stay tuned for the intro. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and pin down my sides. I want all sides to be as even as possible. And doing this will make it so I'm not messing around with the fabric while I'm trying to use the sewing machine. It's just going to make it a bit easier for me. Okay, so I have all the ends pent down and now I'm going to use my brother SE 600 and I'm going to start with my first seam which is uh, going to be blue on the top and white on the opposite side why I'm making this complicated I have no idea but you guys can do it the way you want to do it with whatever fabric you want you can basically just use your own creativity. This is just the method. Okay, so I already have the blue side down which is white on the other side and then on the other side it'll be white and then on the other side it'll be blue so what I'll do is I'll do that all the way around and then part of the seams will cross over okay so I have all of the ends sewn down as you see, I have blue and white on it, and then I have little cross parts, just for a little extra pizzazz. The middle part, I'm gonna sublimate, and I also have to make sure that I cut all of the strings off so it has a neater look. Okay, so now I'm cutting off the excess paper that is on one side of my design, and what I'm gonna do is line the two sides up so that it is one whole image. I use my Epson 7710 to sublimate on the sublimation paper, which is a sub. So I'm going to line it up and then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to use heat resistant tape to tape the design together. If you do not have a sublimation printer, you could definitely use your Cricut and kind of cut out a design and use that as the way to get the design on your napkin. But since I have a sublimation printer, I figured that this was the easiest way for me. So now that I have everything lined up, as you see, everything is one hole. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut all of the excess paper from a runner design, do a pre-press so I can um, get all the moisture out. And then I'm going to sit the design in the center of the napkin. And then I want to make sure that I tape 
all around to make sure that it doesn't move at all. That would be not good because it'll cause ghosting. And then I'm going to put some butcher paper on the top to make sure that there's no dye transfer on my heat press. I'm using the 2C heat press. 2C Tussie. Y'all already know I don't know that name. So now I'm going to pull off the paper and I noticed that although the colors are good, it didn't turn out as bright as my other one did. So now I'm going to use this little wicker ball that I got from the Dollar Tree. It was called a vine ball and it came in a pack of three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little wicker ball and I'm almost going to like pry a hole. I was going to cut it, but I was scared that it was going to start to unravel. So I just like pushed a hole through on both sides to make sure that the napkin went through because what I'm basically going to do is use this as a napkin ring. So now I'm going to fold it in kind of a triangle way. To be honest with you guys, however you want to fold it is good. All I wanted to do is make sure that there was a cone shape so I can stick it through the little um, vine ball. So once I get finished doing that, like I said, I'm going to take the little vine ball and I'm going to stick it through. And once I get it all the way through, then I'm going to spread the top part out to give it a more full look. And you will see that in a minute. Yeah, so this is the finished product. Thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a comment in the comment section if you like this design or ever done it before. I appreciate you guys for coming back to Marcella's Way, and I'll see you guys again soon.